All right, welcome back to Assyria. I'm in a great mood today because, not because I'm Emperor Nid of Assyria, member of the community of St. Abraham, to praise the Lord. Um, and it's, and no, we're not ready to expand further east yet. We still got a lot of months to go before I even make such considerations. Because if we want to expand into parts of the Bengal, we got to, you know, get these two or three, you know, down. Because, you know, you got to make tributary states out of them. As long as those two aren't members of the defensive pact. It's me. But unfortunately, there ain't. Although we can declare a tributary war against the Dinakan Empire, Empire of Rajasthan also known as, or what I prefer to call them, the Marathi Empire, because they're of the Marathi origin, which I'm making reference to the actual um, historical um, reference in Indian history that there was an empire called the Marathi Empire, which, you know, that's the time of Shivaji stood up against the Mughals and all that stuff. Again, that's way past medieval times. That man is on the countdown right now. There's a Jadik Bhatnabold. He's got no money, but he's getting out of debt pretty soon. Not a member of the defense pack against me. Because ever since he uh, subjugated that part away from Bengal. And this man is pretty smart. He's a polymath. He's shrewd. Part of me thinks that we gotta go in after him. Again, he's got 58,000, close to 60,000 troops, whereas we double that. He didn't even know I'm kind of a little afraid to go on the front line because I am fat. I know you can't tell, but you could make out a little of that fat chin here. Because I'm fat, because I'm a. Uh, uh, when it, that's what I am. It's like, yeah, I got a beautiful wife uh, named Maya, but yeah, I'm sure she doesn't look at me. Well, she still looks at me highly. You know, the things with the sex appeal and uh, the fact that I made her trade master. It felt nothing to do with traction. Plus, I'm chaste. Don't expect me to have more children than this one. Who's already been told to this um, guy, which I'm sure he'll be. Let me do the map. He's gonna be close to, I don't know, late 30s by the time he finally gets married to her. He's got a lot of years, as long as he doesn't get himself any trouble. But, anyways, uh. You don't have any allies, do you? has no aggressive pact with just only this um Kaganate there. Or mainly giants. So I'm thinking uh, a tribute war won't, won't hurt because it will not increase our threat level because we're not taking territory. But we can, you know, beat the heck out of him. The guy's not craven, so he's willing to put up a fight. I don't, know long he, I don't know how long he's been going to China. Yeah, some would think that that I'm really jumping the gun here. But, screw it! As I said, I'm in a good mood. You know the drill. Standard operating procedure. Get these guys to, uh, to this area. Huh, I like this different helmet style for that martial headgear. Even though I'm not a, a guy with high martial skill, I'm a man of diplomacy and fat. But if I get killed, Antalya will lead. Right. Who else? 
And mind you, you're gonna go through diseased country. See? There's a huge epidemic going on out there. So you better get your ass over here before, you know, all that infliction is gonna cost us some, some good men. these guys. You forgot about those guys. Clearly you did. And also our retinue is all the way heck over here. Oh so yeah, you just get on that side while uh, the pencil. Our best. The retinues for once. They're not gonna be staying on the front line. I guess we're taking a different approach, a more cautious approach, to way more. Is that everybody? Yeah. It's showtime, folks. Sit down, uh, covered in sweat, looking at the fly stir spiraling down behind me. Tasks are once easy now become much more difficult to perform with my new flabby body. Why am I always so tired? It's because of my fat treat and my health will deteriorate. Oh, gee. Oh, help me, oh lord. I'm trying to be a good Christian here. Those dang Kashmiri peasants. It blocked our route. At least you've got that guy. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. He didn't die in battle, he had a heart attack during a battle. Oh, okay. That's what clutching at the heart usually means when it has chest pains. <laughs> Maybe it's the stress of the battle that got him. All I could say is let him come. If we get into any trouble, hire mercenaries. Cause you got the money. Is he back? No. No, he ain't. She's a giant, but she's learning things. Should make her a war. Let me see. Oh yeah, one who's born as a Syrian and uh, giant. You know, law of the land. If that's even a concept. Guardian should be me. So she has four diplomacy skills if, if you were to get her out of house arrest. Is there another child in court? Court. In prison. And I'm willing to take her under my wing. Just want to teach them that the story is the way. Do you know? 
trust in God and not the uh, the Tirthankaras, Tirthankaras, or something like that. It's the ancient saint of Jainism. They ain't rushing. That's fine. Okay, they're in position. Wait for this army to come in. Of course, you always forget about the guys in Basra. And somehow you forgot the Syrians too. Man, I just can't cover all bases, can't I? Which, of course, it's going to give these guys a lot of time to regroup. And I'm sure they've hired some mercenaries by now. Yes, they did. Probably Chinese ones. Because they got the money, but... It ain't gonna last long. Not with that sorts of income. Yeah, time to move. A good place to siege. None. Maybe Gujarat. But that would cause, you know, to draw them out. But we can go through. Oh no, these areas are under revolt. Right, just go up there. Wait a minute, how much? Oh, hell, no. Forget about that. Go over here. I mean, if these guys come across the strait, then they're effed. <laughs> That's right, I said it. Um, anyways. A lot more troops than usual. Trying to make your way to Homos. Where are you going? Kanga. Okay. Good luck with that. Oh, these dang diseases. Uh. I shouldn't worry about it because we'll be out of there in no time. Do we have an organizer? No, we don't. I'm sure one of you is. My dad and my sister. Okay, none of them are. We ain't got no organizers this army. Oh, there's one, but he's, um, uh, There you are. Yeah, we're gonna need more of those guys. Whoa there. That is a lot of them. Actually, head back to Nantana. We're gonna have to do it this way. And you may want to bring mercenaries. Or... Order of Saint Ade. Which they're at the max currently. Krishna, Krishna, Ratna, Devi, about God and rituals of the Nestorian faith. Alright. Now she's Nestorian. And so is she. You get to keep your cultures if you ask me that question. No room. Move. You're gonna be our backup.
Don't stay here, you fool. There's a disease out there. Yeah, they're storming it already. Keep going alongside. Hmm. Okay, who the heck are you guys? Let's just say, uh, where are you from? Oh, yeah, they're the ones that retreated. Retreated. No, oh, god dang it! Not like that. Disembark. Now, that one you could get to get across these areas easy. Yeah, let them have their fun. Our time will come. That's a mistake. Look at that. They're killing their troops by assaulting that moving. See that there? They jumped the gun too early because of their armies moving about. Okay, you're up second. Okay, here it is. The size of battle is going to be here. Despite the fact that it's disease territory, and everybody's going to be marching up here. Oh, for God's sakes, get the retinue. I like how she's called the pious, despite the fact that she's possessed and left handed. Not a member of St. Abraham. Right. Yeah, I'm with the troops of the, of the Holy Order. Five days. I can tell you this right now. Everything's going to go to hell in the handbasket. If we lose this battle, then, um, look, we may be winning an occupation for this portion here, but we're just only delaying the inevitable. Because everybody is going to go this way. Gujaratra, um, Gujaratra, how do you pronounce that place? If anybody knows Punjabi. Not to mention disease territory, so somebody's commander is going to be sick. Led by Thakur, Anatadeva. Just not trying to identify who's who. As these guys are so out there. Injured that is. Oh my goodness. He may be old, but, uh,. He's a member of the Wheel of Life and Death. He's not a champion. But he's a veteran. But he's a duelist. He's been in a lot of fights. He's just a commander. He's not some sort of... And he's got the Lance on the dynasty. Dated all the way back to him. Now, who else? The Rani. Not a member of anything. Just some Rani hiddenist woman. This man. Not a member. Oh, these characters. Oh, clearly. Bulls of Rip Chava. 
He's a wise leader and sage authority. So, yeah, that's going to put a hurt on us. Because he's a flanker. Even though it says army of him, which means he's center flank. And he's been into some fights too. Probably bounty hunting. Finally him. Not a member. Just another one of them good commanders of theirs. Sen he shum what? Of that sort. And that's from ages ago. You're just gonna identify who's who. Look, we got some real old commanders, but, um... Is there anybody better th than them? Here's one we could take. Somebody's good with planes and infantry. He's a cavalry guy. Just get out of the cruiser and get to work. And we're just setting up because I know we're going to lose commanders for this. Oh, look at this. Brawny and strong. Which makes him very good for combat. Give me him. Even though over time he'll get leadership traits if we put him out on the front. Another strong brawny man. And rage leader, which means member of the sand pit. I was about to say, organizer, but no, nope, he's way too old. 75. But then again, you had Korkut, who lived up to 86, so... Not gonna take that chance. We may need another guy with the way of the tiger. Ah, here's somebody young. Need some inspiration. Oof. That's... Need somebody who's good with Sage, knowing that we'll be on the offense pretty soon. that clearly that she's stressed if she wasn't stressed I might take it not because you're a dwarf it's just it's like infantry heavy infantry leader that's good but can't risk it you're gonna get killed winter soldier marauder huh he may be a little old but I like to have him you know for the future conflict if he lives long enough up to the mountains you know winter and he knows cavalry too but it's too bad that the majority of nomads now are Jayans I was just trying to remember their religion well here's a mountain guy Again, future use the defender And last one, because I saw the giant trait. Okay. As I said, some of us are going to get killed. And if I get killed, that's because I'm fat. I'm easy to hit. I mean, for me, for, uh, for my wife, uh, me being fat means a lot more to love. But in this case, in the battle, it's easy for me to get hit. Go. I'm sure they're going to be drawn into it like flies. Battle of Joe. Yeah, I recognize that place. Alexander the Great fought there once. Of course, it was called that differently. Oh, there he is. We're winning it so far. 
even though what our, we should really be doing is to hold a mass for our fallen soldiers to fight better. Keep up the morale. We hold a mass in the middle of battle. Mm -hmm. Come some more. That is some hurting for certain right there. Get these guys out. But boy, there's plenty of places to take back. And you forgot the very best that the, uh, the Syrian army has to offer. I would have much preferred matrilineal, but uh, she's still in her prime. Matter of fact, one would think her skill in battle would have earned her place in the Order of St. Anne, but they don't allow women. At least, that's my current thinking. Why didn't you tell me you were betrothed? We can get other sage people out here. We still have my dad, right? Yeah, he's still around. I mean, that's your business, so... You have my blessing, even though I did not know you were betrothed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, what was this? Oh, boy. Guy with the list. Um, and wants to marry a woman who is slow. That's a match made in heaven. Yeah, begin your march. Retake those territories. And the order can take Lahore. Oh, very yeah, let's fight them. Let's bring out our best. Since these are mainly cavalry guys, we should. I think we got the cavalry guys in. Here you are. this uh, young organizer here hmm. all right now we know who just a moment Sorry about that. It's just a uh, bit of froze a little. Not that much bigger video. Um. Okay, there's me. Because I want to prove to myself. You got Narzis, and we got uh, Potamina. Is that how you say that name? It's Coptic. So. Yeah, we ride. The Order and God cares as much for the souls of our members. As such, we advise you to go on a pilgrimage, since you have not yet done so. I will go on a pilgrimage after the war, if I survive this. Still on a retreat, okay. Aha! We have the advantage. Because we have the advantage of the jungle, 
and uh, and they're gonna have a river crossing penalty. So our heavy infantry and the uh, archers will do a lot of damage against them fighting in this uh, jungle environment even though it doesn't look like a jungle. It's this jungle? Not those plants? Keep on fighting. We got him. Eighty one war score. Definitely making a statement. The retinue is trying to just head to the capital knowing that we got this. do now is just retake those holdings and we win. Switch places. Magnetic, cognatic. Gotta remind myself. And that is, go back to magnetic, cognatic for all of the serious succession laws. Israel, yeah. How about that? Again, we know that the Syrians use biblical names, it's just uh Israel's a strong name, you know. You know that biblical story of how Jacob became Israel. Yeah. If only that child was born strong, I think he would have lived up to it. No need to be a Syrian. You're good with Bengali. I want you to, you know, be a Christian just like us. Jesus, it seems. Oh, man. I thought they had it. But to be fair, we Nestorians replaced the Catholics and the Orthodox and everybody else. So it's kind of our own fault. Therefore, tribute paid. Now it's my time to go on a pilgrimage. I already, we already did Jerusalem in the past, so... How about uh, to um, Antioch? You know, it's another part of our empire. Just like the Apostles. My things are packed and everything's in order. Ancient Antioch awaits. My journey begins. My father is running things. The rain's been pouring down for days. It is almost impossible to travel the roads. Why does the Lord punish his faithful pilgrims so? Blessed he who perseveres under trial. I didn't get sick. I lay awake at night reflecting on my pilgrimage. 
It is an inner journey as well as a physical one. But how can we be sure which uh, destination it will take me to? Do, uh, and do I even want to have that certainty? The mind wanders uh, where it will. Okay, I'm a poet. How about that? Poetry. As evening approaches after a long day on the road, I come across several campfires. Around the fires, I find a group of holy knights. Resting after a long day's ride, they invite me to share the meal and trade stories. Uh, trade stories of war. Hey, I got it. Yeah, about how we defeated the Indians again. Antioch. I finally arrived at Antioch. This is the oldest city of Christianity. The first place where people actually began to call themselves Christian. St. Peter and St. Paul both worked here, as did um, St. Ignatius. I don't know that guy, honestly. Um, it is a place where early Christendom was formed and defined. It said, uh, later expanded from here westwards to Rome and beyond. As my feet treaded the ancient streets of Antioch, I could feel history and tradition here around me. A great and ancient city. <laughs> Stories of other pilgrims all, all spoke how impressive this place is. Now I see it with my own eyes. Now I could join in their uh, in their um, praise. I'm glad that I came here to one of Christianity's holy places. Holiest place. It's well worth the journey. I finally returned from my pilgrimage. It was a rewarding and interesting journey. And I'll do it all again if I could. But still, it's uh, good to be back home. It's a great experience. Yes, thank you. You got your hands dirty and you're an embarrassed believer. Just doing a good Lord's work. And also, I just remembered something about this succession wall problem. Oh, I know how I gotta deal with it. Let's just destroy it and then create the title again. There. No need to change. Um, gender laws. It's just a correction. So we kind of restarted that date, so we'll just wait till 1300. And then, uh, then I'll consider changing it to, uh, frickin' magnetic magnetic. I'm having trouble with words today. I was in a good mood, but now I'm a bit... More excited on certain things. So the wise and learned Saint August. Well, uh. Or how about, um. What kind of guy am I? I mean, the vassals like me enough with this very high diplomacy. Since I'm more devoted to... Just go to, uh... St. Augustine. Now I gained humble. You just keep working. That's all you gotta do. All you gotta do now is just... Stop being so ambitious and be content. You need to be more content. Stop scratching yourself. Stop. Match your line. Yeah, there is the retinue after a long time's travel. So. We have uh, the Marathi Empire, or the Empire of Rajasthan, under tribute. Let's say we'll recover the losses. These two in the future, they're next. Oh. 
Oh, you originally thought you were gonna be commander, but I decided uh, you got other uses. Go find another sage person, you know, just in case. Either that or that Chinese um, leadership trait. The way of the leopard, I think that's called. Oh gee, look at all those good traits. Give me him. Oh, what else? I'm looking for a siege guy. Siege leader. Or something similar along the lines. Because that woman we brought here, we didn't know she was betrothed. None of you, huh? Really, none of you at all. None of you have what it takes to break the walls down. Even the low-skilled guys even have that leadership trait of siege leader. Unless uh, you type siege, but no, that would apply to guys' names or those traits. Very well. We still have our Chinese guards around here somewhere, right? It would be of a Han origin. No, we don't. Okay. Get me one. Strong, ugly hunter. So I'll just train the uninitiated. I gotta say about that. So there'll be peace in our planet. Speaking of peace, um, who's, who are the vessels I'd like me to least? Because I think it's about time we finally go to carousing and hopefully some damned peasant revolt doesn't break out. I guess it's just you and me then. If not, then I'll get my wife. If not, then how about all of our commanders? Well, commanders, I'm inviting all of you. Even if some of you have just arrived here, yeah, we're just gonna have a. And yes, I'll invite my father too. My sister. We could just drink together to celebrate our victory. It's November and we can't go to Tiger Hunt because I'm setting it up. Not her. And not him. Okay, suit yourself. Just wonder. Since they're still building that stuff. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Sogdians are still liberating things. Just in case, if you need some. There's a big pile of money. Speaking of big pile of money, let's send China one. Just to make up for um, 
getting the uh, strategist. Niv the Wise, that's what they call him. Whose day is at anyone's interpretation. So if I want to abdicate, I got to stop being ambitious. Be more content. Yeah, but there are ways of becoming content. Good drinks and food. Carousing. Everything is fine. Oh, it was fine until uh, Princess um, Potamina and unexpectedly threw a fit of rage. I'm not sure why, but she's coming at me right now with her fists up. Listen to me and calm down, will ya? Well, I get diplomacy out of this. More nothing. A cleansing through fire. During a discussion with some fellow late members of the community of Abraham, I mentioned a dusty old tome store in a library of uh, Nandana. Most of the contents hardly in intelligible. I scoffed <clears throat> the eyes of my peers one. One should not take the writings of the devil so lightly, my lord. Oh, these magnum opuses? That all sounds a bit excessive. Look, we're doing fine. I was a pilgrim. I moved to space. You want me to build a church? You got it. If there's room for a church. Well, there's only one. Sinjar. And send the uh, steward. It was to be done in August, but now um, it'll be done in, well, just August of later this year. I thought I saw 1292 on it. Hey, we actually got a book from that monastery. Shakuntala. Bingo. Shankantava is a Sanskrit play on the ancient Indian poet um, Kalidasa. Dramatizing the story of Shankantava told in the epic Mahabharata. It is considered to be a masterpiece and the best of Kalidasa's works. What? Who stole the... Not my Quinn Bronze uh, sculpture. The Lord of Kashgar. I call. He's a Saltian. It lives up there. Damn him! Hope he dies of consumption. You know how long that's been there? Since the time of Tammy. Since the days of the Assyrian Samrajni. Well, I'm a man of many principles and skills. Yeah, we're rivals now. Normally I would just put a bounty on him. No, nope. I'm gonna have to steal that back. Oh yeah, the strongest man in the world, or the not so clever. Give me Daoud, the world's strongest man. We could have sent him to Van Nuyen, but decided not to. You're doing good learning. You see? House arrest isn't so bad after all. Do me wrong and I would blind you, but I don't have a cruel bone in my body. See? Just because we're taking children to prison does not mean they're gonna be like neglected. No, 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 no. We're teaching them to raise to be Nestorian Christians. They get to keep their language and uh, and just learning a lot. It's like, hey, uh, it's like, time for you to come out of the house, and we go to the monastery and learn things. Now, let's force our way inside. There is no way in heck that, you know, they're going to stop us. Crap. Um, uh, 
I'll fight my way out. We didn't get hurt. Well, we can't get it back again. Either that or you want to request to have her with the... How many kids? Yeah. He didn't legitimize it. So therefore it belongs to that man's dynasty. This is why I don't want Samantha married. She has that reputation. It's already tainted. If you want a better spy master, get that one. No, don't speak Aramaic. That's the language of the Assyrians. Um, keep your Bengali language. Legitimized bastard of Marti, I believe. Or whoever. Oh, yes. Hope I teach you things, just like I'm teaching these two Bengali girls. Now I get to be promoted to Rasaforos. Which, uh, if I want to, I'll take a vow of celibacy, but. If we can, uh, let's just have one more child. Then I'll take the spell of celibacy. I was about to say, what are the portraits? It's usually applied to saints. Church is finished. Tal Kaif. All the men are gone. Thank you very much. I become charitable. Speaking of charity, we could donate it simply for the sake of it and get more um, devotion. And don't forget to donate to the order. The statue is finished. Yeah, the statue in Magda, Pataliputra. In, in the jungle of Magda, the great statue has for once encouraged greatness and both common and noble alike. Fifteen years! It took us eight years to build a base. Early part of that statue, but fifteen years! And then 22 years and 30 years. Yikes. Fair one. About some additional statues, you know. These beautiful statues are said to resemble the immediate family of uh, Emperor Niv of Assyria. I said about abdicate to become a monk, which is basically the goal for this character, but don't want to do it immediately once I drop the ambitious portion. Just wait till she turns 16. And also after the next war against Bengal, as that threat level will be dwindling down. Yes, yeah, she's learning a lot. Oh yeah, it's this other girl who was born a Syrian in Nestoria. Well, we're keeping her in dungeon. You'll never get to see her mother again. Raise them to be Nestorian. So 
up against. Yeah. Before you even think about fighting Van Gogh in the Holy War, you gotta make those two other kingdoms tributaries. Don't forget about that. You're a court unit now. Man, we should corral us again. Because I need to increase the, uh, the diplomacy skill before they tell me to switch to theology. Gee, everybody's busy, huh? Well, to be fair, they're all taking part of a grand tournament. What if the world's strongest man wins the tournament? I like how we can make an alliance on cultural bonds. Which apparently you can, but again, he lives in Poland, where the Order of St. Ande is mostly based there. Don't bother me with such details because we got far too many. That's why. Uh, you can get rid of these guys. Oh, it's not the world's strongest then. Duelist. Is he a member of the Sandpit? Yes. Take a day left. I was about to say, I invited her here and... Oh, she's already safe. Yeah, cousins rule the county now. Hey, wait a minute. What are the other cards they don't want me to do? Doesn't say anything about uh, things that are crossing with it. Ah, uh, Ant. Yeah. Ant, best friend. Come back over here. I'm a dedicated carousel. Do that one more time and you may get something. Too little, too late. Somebody wants more of all these raiders that we just tried to drive them out earlier. Okay, we'll come. We're only setting our retinue. Not the poems of Abu Nuwas. <laughs> it's too bad we don't. We can't build any more than that statue because we don't have a lunatic in charge. Get him moving. Cape of Nandana is finished. Okay, 
what else can we build? Even though I don't think there is much. Other than the generic ones. Yeah, of the siege defense, some as I usually say about Nandana as being the wartime capital when it comes to the Indian campaign so far. Yeah, let's just make it even more fortifying by fortified by adding a water moat. Water keeps people at bay unless they can swim. And after that, then maybe uh, maybe some spikes. I was thinking tavern, but no, we already have a tavern. That's way back in Nineveh. Gee, we gotta recruit this guy, if they let us. Put him under house arrest, I'm sure. Oh no, he likes him too much. He's a military tutor of theirs. Oh, no, we can't get him. Yeah, you sogged in to finish the job. Just be about a border. I was about to say, what's up with these diseases running rampant in this region as of late? Court physician is now a jurist. If he writes a law book, then I'm surprised that he knows things. Not calling him dumb, it's just, hey. <laughs> Shouldn't be calling people down because I'm not that judgmental based on those traits I've seen. I could not help but overhear the stable master in a courtier's animated discussion. Sorry about a horse and a payment due today. But the courtier insisted uh, on paying the stable master later that week. Shouldn't interfere. I settled the matter between me and my stable master. I tried to be just as I could. They still won't speak to each other. He approves me of justice because I'm a just. And very diplomatic man. Okay, the Emperor likes tributaries, but frowns on eunuchs. Hmm. And they forbid women again. Charity, you got it. She's taking on an education of intrigue. And I'm honest. Honest Niv. You know, if we only had an Emperor Abraham, we could call him Honest Abe. She's going for stewardship. And I didn't make you ambitious. That's that's your thing, right? Another bastard. <laughs> now nah, he better be proud of what he's accomplished. At least the order, um, uh, god dang it, the community hasn't told me to switch the theology yet. I'm surprised. So just keep on carousing. Once this is, once this matter is finished. Saint Ezekiel, 
but I'm already humble with free piety. Less developed part of the country. Hey, can we recruit this guy? Yes, we can. Because I like his martial skill and uh, he's inspiring. Give me him. I could care less about his J and Fave as much as I care about talent. I have an eye for talent. Where's this other fella? Oh, that lazy bum. He needs to be out of here. Who's that other guy's name? Him. We can recruit him too. Excellent. Yeah, there's a growing number of Jayans living in the Empire. Even though we, Nestorian Christians and Jayans, do not get along, but I tolerate them to an extent. But we Nestorians prefer Buddhists more because we are allowed to marry them. For them, they can't marry to us. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you on that. Like, if you were to tell them to be married to just about anything, I don't think they would have... Well, they will accept because it says... Let's just say, if you are asking for a marriage from another country, that is of the Jain faith, can't do that. But if you have a Jain person living here or any other faith that isn't of yours that lives in your country then marriages can work but it ain't gonna forge you alliances that's just huh it's just whatever that's how the game works just remember it's about that time Since there's peace in our time, still with the war. Man, I could have easily given away minor titles. I give somebody minor titles to those people that like me the least. But I'll give it a moment. Just let me finish inviting these guys if they're not doing anything important. My father is in Fermi's cancer. He's not long for this world. At least he didn't take an arrow to the eye like my mother. Right. The King of Sindh. He's going to be having four jobs because he's got to oversee the rights. He's got to keep the tomes. He's going to be royal custodian. He's a lighthouse custodian. This is what I mean. It's like he's responsible for all the rites and rituals related to the pyramid. And he's shown great aptitude for learning and all related skills. Um, he's a, or to proven themselves to be dependable and they're responsible for the upkeep and the maintenance of the royal palace. <laughs> and... <laughs> And he also could be a trusted camera. Well, keeping it both lit and functioning. The King of Sindh has a lot of work. <laughs> it's like you got to travel from one corner to the Empire to another to maintain this and maintain that. And he likes me well enough. Oh, and I got one more thing for you. And he'll be organizing feasts of domestic entertainment. <laughs> Nutty, isn't it? That's the beauty of having a lot of wonders in your empire. Just have all these minor titles. Oh, I got a purpose for this guy. He may be a giant, but... You may never know if this guy teaches some of our children Indian philosophies. So just have some strength in your father. Just 
don't let the cancer take you away before for our next um, feast, our private feast. Yeah, let's do it. He didn't have the willpower. I miss you, father. You're a good man. He was our sage leader too, and a guy who protects my stuff. Yeah, you don't want to have that giant guy to be your designated region. I mean, let's say if I went to a trip on China, the Empire's going to go ape yeah, about a giant running things. Well, no, because of extremely high tolerance. I think they would tolerate him because he's a foreigner and a giant. Yeah, why not her? She's got nothing better to do. Are they out of the pact? No. What about you? No. We're just still waiting for it. Now, a mirror through a rage. You may never know what that man's gonna do. Well, he's a nice guy. I'm sure he'll calm down. Which he did. Alright, time to get back to real life. Uh, it's too bad that, um... That I haven't played a board game. Which I would have loved to pick up the Game Master trait. But, oh well. Life is all about the join the company of others. Just plus three diplomacy. And does not restrict their requirements if I were to go out and become a monk. No. They're okay with it. So I'll just be a socializing type of guy. I'm the man of the people. Uh, since we do this, you know, hunt processing all the time, let's try to research cultural tech. Like, we haven't done that very much, because what it does is you could either find a great philosopher or a heretic find, which could turn him into a heretic. Ascalon. Oh, it's happened again. I remember the Dancing Plague uh, started uh, around here in the Kingdom of Jerusalem area. Now, Dancing Plague is back in that region. Now I get to teach my uh, children. Uh, hold on. The Soaring Cape of Nadana has become a center for travelers and commerce. And some people decided to settle close to the glorious construction. The latest report mentioned children, dogs, and cattle. They are obviously putting down deep roots. They are welcome to stay in Nandana. So we got another holding. Finished good stone. Member of the trade league? Master trader. Uh -huh. He's got a bunch of books and... Yeah, these are his documents. His warehouse is decorated with silk. Gee, you make me feel envious. Man, I would steal that book right now if I wanted to remember that. Well, of course you'll remember it. It's in the capital. A famous herald, well-versed in diplomatic protocols, arrived in our court. He's, pr he's proposing a service to us, and, this, and our chamberlain is saying that we could make good use of this man. Alright, who is he? I was hoping somebody with 30, 30 diplomacy, but no. 
if we want that threat level to go down faster, but I think it will in due time. Matter of fact, I think it'll happen in the next episode. Because I think this next episode will be action heavy. Fighting up in Western Tibet, and another down in Tavulukam, and then uh, finally advance into Bengal. Out of the Bihar region and in with the Bengal. But our retinue will be here for it. Right. Let's move to this region. Get a head start on possible um, that place again. You and your arbitrary steward. That man just died. Well, he was an old man. Now, you're the new for traveling and do what the predecessor tried to do. How many Sogdian liberations of Oma are you going to keep trying? You just ran out of money. Well, let me pay you real quick before these mercenaries. Well, you don't have any mercenaries, but you got a lot of good troops. I'm about to say, uh. Oh, and by the way, congratulations on having all those children. I thought you were going to lose the Buddhist kingdom of Sogdiana. Kingdom? Shot him. Congratulations. Glad to see that. So that way we still have our tributary state. Gotta learn on your own. And once you're all grown up now, then, uh, then we're good. We get along. few more years and then I uh, am contemplating whether or not if we should just keep it absolute cognetic for her sake. Actually we should because I wanted to experiment if, if we can have this saintly bloodline and we have two saintly bloodlines going on with her children. I don't know if that's possible or is it going to cancel that out so I just want to keep that. What are you up to? I forgot your capital's up there. Oh, they're against Sogdian. Well, good luck with that, guys, up there. Glad I did not join that war. The gemstone mine. Feels it's a bit overdue to to get a tiger hunt going, and women are allowed to join. Let's corner it and kill it. We killed the tiger. <laughs> yeah, we made social life at camp. Uh, did a lot of drinking. And some bishop is my new friend, even though he's a bit out there. Actually, it's Lokas. Uh, just contacted me, asked if I have any interest in learning more about roses. Apparently, his latest achievement involves a dark red variant, makes up a particular type of yellow wild rose. He's a steward of the Company of the Rose, appropriately enough, it's a mercenary band. Yeah, I'll visit that monastery. Visit that garden, or lack thereof. Where does he live? Or where they're currently stationed, so to speak. Padua. Over here. Oh yeah, 
yeah, that other empire. Though tribal. Let's pick a theology focus. That's what I've been waiting for. The Bible shall be my foremost companion. And I want to lose the ambitious trade and get content. That's all I want. I become kind. Oh. Escort through the gardens of the monastery, I immediately spot the work of Brother Locus. The roses are a delicate mixture of red and yellow. A hue of sunset at their center. They're beautiful when you ask what not suffering a small spade. They're a little cramped over there, though. Would you mind helping out? No, oh, give it a shot. Which I have dirty hands. Sometimes I'm tempted that I wanted to say dirty fingers. Hope you become uh, brawny and zealous. Even though the guy you're going to be marrying in the future is a bit out there too. Well, he's dull and he's he's not a real good person. But again, his father was a saint. So don't judge him. I just hope he doesn't get himself in any trouble. He may be old as dirt by then, but... My daughter's going to be married to him. And as for my son, assuming they have... Gee, 82. You had a good run there. The cold-blooded um, Bestria, I'm not sure what that word is, and the warm-blooded Charger have towards each other. Their riders are permitted to crush their lances against each other. And watch them uh, crash the ground with its rider crushed beneath. Good fight. Don't you worry, ladies and gentlemen. Next episode we'll be back in action. It's just I'm doing a lot of work for the, uh, the Order and raising these two children, which they're about to be grown up next year. Ah, yeah, I took a big gulp of the drink. When is your birthday? October. Yeah, born a Syrian here. No, no, can't do that. That's too risky. I was about to say, we should have a matrimonial marriage with- No, 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 don't do it! Not with him. I was about to say, maybe with this guy. Because we don't know who the heck he is. Um, other than he's a, a bastard uh, half-brother of, of my children. Even though he's in... Uh, He's in the Chinese Academy currently. I thought, well, we should get this um, Syrian girl matrilineally married. So, and then once they have children, then um, the children's children, yeah, generational thing. Trying to inherit some bloodlines here. This late part of the series. Good luck, guy, because she's got lover's fox. You know, the herpa hip hit. Herpes! That's what I'm trying to say. For no reason, I was acting funny because it was a reference from something. Hunting stall. You remember the tree league? No. Maybe she was. Yeah. It's her stall. But she has since passed. Oh, God. The passion between Maya and myself was still there. 
Oh, all they slumbering beneath our skins, and easily were awakened by a lover's touch. It was hot, fierce, and wonderful love making as we used to have. It was exhilarating. Oh boy. Yeah, it sure was. Calm down, Tiger. Otherwise, I'm going to be taking a vow of celibacy. Just to prevent that from happening again. Right, if I impregnated you, good. Because once you're pregnant, I'm taking a vow of celibacy. I can have no more of this. I can't risk it. Which one of you got? Risking my life, so I'd like to get paid. Yeah. <laughs> Teach a bishop shadows how to use sword. Must be the most hazardous job in the whole world, and I told him exactly that. Shadows still insisted I told him I want some safety, so uh, for I feared bishop shadows would injure me, though unintentionally. I saw the wisdom and agreed. Paid with move nine. After all, he's my friend and he's possessed. You may never know that he'll suddenly go berserk and use that sword. I mean, there's some crazy people in this world. Ratna Devi. It's all grown up. Can we recruit you? Yes, we can. See? This is how you raise, um, children from a foreign country that you capture from an award to be an historian like us. She gets to keep her culture, but, uh, I was about to say, uh, where's the half brother? Well, it's like a son. I do it. Where's this guy? Not my son, but my wife's son. Rats in the Devi, where's. No? Unimportant? What? Is it because of the bastard or are you being up there? Well, whenever your education is finished, let me know. Because skill-wise, she's not all that good or capable for being a steward, let alone... Um, just want to have her around, okay? May have some other use for her. And if not, then... Uh, let me see her again. Learning skill-wise. It would have been either that or... We can't even send her to the monastery. The order is probably what I'm holding order or monastic society. So she's not going to take up a life of a nun. Uh, no way, no how. What are they up to? Oh, peasant roll, never mind. And donate to charity, you know. Gotta get that more devotion up before I get up to that. And she's an elusive shadow. Yikes, can we recruit you? Yes. There, these two Bengali girls are grown up. Even though she's a foreigner to me. In which you said before, I don't think it's a good idea to be, you know, having matrimony marry somebody only for her to have children, and then my children would have, you know, married in their children. It's just an idea. But the question is, who is a willing participant for such? Why don't we have this guy here? I mean, I've seen the, the man's name before, but I didn't know he's a holy war. No. Oh. Hey, you. How would you like to marry her? Sure. They will. 
Okay. Yeah, two completely different people. Well, once they have children, I mean, she doesn't have any claimants, so she's just far off of this um, um dynasty over there. And as for you, oh boy, already. Just a few months after turning 16, she already has all of her pox. Nobody seduced you, did they? Here's another guy. That... So for anyways, it's just an idea. Just an idea. I just hope they have children and then uh, we'll try to figure it out. No, that would be too dangerous. Just stop suggesting such things. Well, it's gonna be patrols of this kind. I'm not sure why to marriage one of their boys. Yeah, but that's another thing we could do. Not sure they'll marriage her children to her sons. Those two Bengali girls. Huh. That we just converted them whilst in prison. They're taking a lashing up there. Well, sorry, I didn't know they were... Well, I was aware that they have a non-aggression pact. But I didn't know they became fast friends. Heck, do they have any out? Two. Yeah, we gotta knock them out. Yeah, we're gonna end this episode... Um, soon, as the threat level continues to go down, which no doubt that that in the next episode I will be fighting against these two countries. Well, this one first, because he's no longer a member of the pact. And for some reason, I just noticed sympathy for Mazden religions. What Mazdens? There ain't any more out there. Unless there's somehow a secret Zoroastrian society residing somewhere in Tamilica. Oh, I don't forget about her. Well, she grows up even though she's, she's born in a Syrian here because she was born in prison. Why haven't I assigned her guardian? Could have teached her a thing or two. Let me guess, she's already a student. What more is there to teach? If you're going to be teaching something, you teach virtue. Which I'm surprised that man hasn't given me any missions yet. But until then, I'll. Whenever this guy drops out of college or something, unless I can invite his ass back into the court saying, Unimportant. What's unimportant? She comes from a great bloodline that's dated back since the very beginning of this series. You know, I don't want to teach you personally, so it's... Even though I'm not cut out for teach somebody who's going to be, you know, up the marshal, but I got a good mind. And let's introduce her to the realm. Let's cap off this episode with this. I have invited my vassal to partake in a formal introduction of my heir, Princess Talia. She'll have to exchange many pleasantries and act in a very formal way. Something that might be tiresome for someone as young as her, or I have full confidence that she will not disappoint me. They'll be here soon. A 
As Talia introduces herself to the mayor, Chani enough comedy slow, she not only accidentally spills a beverage on the Chani suits, but also manages to insult all of his ancestors. That kid's a disaster. But then again, I made her rowdy. That was her struggle education. Missing the more comforting aspects of the faith. It's what you usually go for. More charity! Oh, jeez. Again, Talia? I think the community of St. Abraham will treasure these words. I become temperate. Maybe this could be my way to stop being fat. I'm losing combat skill because I'm being a nice guy. As well as me being fat. Now I made friends with this. Oh, fella. Alright, now she actually, you know, presents herself with grace to, to this bishop. Wasn't there a thing we're supposed to be building, or we finished that? Bishop uh, Chuma of Daedric is a renowned, godly, and learned vassal of mine. Having uh, introduced himself to Talia, uh, Chuma approached me with an offer. He's willing to spend some time teaching Talia the more intricate parts of the Bible in exchange for my faith. Oh, please do. She's really lacking on that. Something for siege defense spikes. Yeah, you could say, yep, this is a very heavily fortified fortress. Couldn't stress it enough. Now we can have Duchy Vice Royalties if needed. What a skill. If he was an historian, I would have made him, uh, you know, traveling teacher. And who are you teaching? Talia. She needs more learning, so, uh... Ooh, if I give her Eurydite, she might be become either zealous or frail. Or have some poetry like me, or... Or just play it safe and just do more learning. Can you teach her how to read faster? I'm just going to leave it to chance. Huh. While having a pleasant conversation, I'm suddenly interrupted by an infernal ruckus. Upon further investigation, it seems as if Tyler had gotten a fight with the child of one of the visiting vassals. I tear the two children apart. It is obvious that Tyler. Emmer and Bauram will not ever be friends after this encounter. Transform. Capture the god dang elephant. And we can't capture it. Ever. And we fix the damages. There, the last of my vassal let and Princess Tyra looks relieved. She's obviously exhausted on her maladies, uh, having been introduced like this, and will hopefully serve her well in the future. I've done my best to groom her to a worthy heir. So she's groomed to perfection, and we hope things will go to perfection on the next episode as the threat level winds down, and these two are ready for me to, to fight against those two for them to pay tribute, and then eventually we advance to to the Bengal region, in which Galda is going to be the next place to take, which we will take over 
four counties from, from them, including their capital, which is a house, house, the home of this palace, which hasn't been in repairs for some time. But since I own, already own the royal palace, I will most likely destroy it when we take it all over. So, we're coming closer as the turn of the century will be coming for the next episode. Until then, so long for now.